The first time I found out about LP was uh, seeing the products uh, at Manny's Music Store on uh, 48th Street and in other music stores. Uh, and uh, I remember I, uh, I saw a, a little ad or something in a magazine or a poster, I forgot what it was, but it said, write for free catalog. So I wrote for the free catalog to Palisades Park, New Jersey, I think it was at that time. And there was a two, it was just a two page catalog with Patato on the cover with the three congas. And he had a mock turtleneck on and a double breasted suit, I believe. I didn't even know who Patato was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I opened up the catalog and I see these, uh, the instruments and then just reading the descriptions, it was very interesting because Martin took the time to really uh, explain what the instruments were about in a simple yet concise way. I was very, very curious. When I had that little catalog, uh, it said uh, that you could order stuff. So I had a little green card order form. And so I, I asked my mother, uh, so she could write a check or whatever. It was like, I think twelve ninety five for a cowbell. Oh no, seven ninety five for an LP black Beauty, Mambo, Timbale, Bell. And uh, I sent it, and I'm going, wow, I'm going to get the cowbell. I'm going to get the cowbell. And I got a letter from Martin saying, I'm very, very sorry, young man, but uh, we don't sell things through the mail anymore. <laughs> so uh, I eventually got that bell at Manny's Music. But those are my first memories. I wish now that I had kept that catalog because it's, uh, it's a rare collector's item. I even had a picture of a little boy uh, put, uh, on, putting with his hands on top of the conga drum. I go, I go, I wonder who that kid is. And <laughs> later on, I would get to meet him. That was Wayne, Martin's son. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I got to meet Martin when I was playing with Mongo Santa Maria. And that's how I became an endorser. Anybody that knows me knows I'm very sincere about the products that I use. Um, and LP basically uh, is often imitated but never duplicated.